welcome to dentistry here you will be provided with information from the doctors for the doctors in the first part of this video we had discussed about elevated landmarks of crown today we will be learning about depressed landmarks so let's begin with the fossa the fossa is an irregular depression or concavity on tooth surface It's like you are digging a hole in the ground with your hands. It's not a definite shape. It's irregular. It's somewhat circular, but it is irregular. They have different types. On the basis of location, these are lingual, lingual, and central. The lingual fossas are on the lingual surfaces of anteriors, mostly incisors, and central fossa is formed by the convergence of ridges. terminating at a central point in the bottom of the depression where there is junction of grooves mainly found in posterior teeth as you can see in the a image there is a lingual fossa on the canine one and in the c part there is a central fossa the irregular one where there are the junction of grooves this is the junction of grooves here and this is the irregular fossa in the middle one in the middle part of the tooth now on the basis of shape it is triangular this is these are found on the occlusal surfaces of posteriors either to mesial or distal to the marginal margins also found on maxillary incisors where the marginal ridges and cingulate meet let's understand the fossa with this model in the anteriors as you can see there is lingual fossa it is somewhat shaped in triangular but it is irregular this one where the marginal ridges meet the cingulate this is the lingual fossa you can also see it in the canine one it's just like here more prominently you can see it like a triangular one just like here it's also a regular that one as in posteriors there are two types in the premolars the triangular ridges are prominently seen one here and one here these are basically triangular in shape so we say it like triangular fossa because of its shape now for the molars our favorite molar maxillary one it's pretty easy to understand it so there is the central one the central fossa it's a triangular but it is an irregular one there is the junction of grooves where the junction starts or terminates with the developmental grooves and it is irregular in shape either it is circular or triangular but irregular not the definite shape let's continue next is sulcus sulcus is a long depression or valley like structure in the surface of tooth between ridges and cusp the inclines of which meet at an angle as you can see in the image you can imagine if you have been in hills hills ke slopes hote hain aur uske beech mein se ek nadi ja rahi hoti hai jaisa ki hum log normally hamesha ek na ek scenery mein banate hain bachpan mein sabhi logon ne bana hoga ya kabhi aap hill mein gaye hoge aapne kabhi agar valleys dekhe ho kullu manali wagera wagera तो उनके जो स्लोप्स हो गए दीज आर कप्स कस्प एंड रिजेस जो हिल्स के किनारे हो गए और जो उनके स्लोप्स हो गए वो कस्प और रिजेस हो गए और जो नीच बीच में जो नदी जा रही है इट्स लाइक डेवलपमेंटल ग्रू एंड दे बोथ मीट अ बेटर एन एंगल एंड मेक अ सल्कस सल्कल इज दैट वैली लाइक स्ट्रक्चर लेट्स लेट्स एंड टेक अ मॉडल this time we have the mandibular molar and in this you can see the sulcus right here this is the sulcus 
as you can see the slopes and you can just imagine like these are your hills and the middle one is your valley that part is known as sulcus that one it's like a valley okay now let's continue with developmental grooves developmental grooves as you have heard in the previous lines sulcus and all the developmental grooves are linear depressions just like linear elevations or ridges these are line depressions or a shallow groove on tooth surface tooth ke surface pe line depressions hote hain jab fusion of primary lobes hota hai different types of lobes hote hain jaisa ki humne padha to lobes jab aapas mein fuse karte hain to वो प्राइमरी पार्ट्स डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ रेगुलरिटीज बनाते हैं जो कभी कभी एलिवेशन होते हैं और कभी कभी डिप्रेशन होते हैं तो उनमें जो वन ऑफ द लाइन डिप्रेशन है उसको हम डेवलपमेंटल ग्रुप्स बोलते हैं ये अगर डिफरेंट जगह पर हैं तो उनको डिफरेंट नाम हो जाते हैं जैसे कि वकल डेवलपमेंटल ग्रुप लिंगल ग्रुप म्यूजल ग्रुप एंड ऑल ये एक्सटेंड कर जाते हैं फ्रॉम द ऑक्लूज सर्फेस टू द साइड्स ऑफ द टूथ क्राउन सप्लीमेंटल ग्रुप आर लाइक जैसे मेन ट्रिब्यूटरी मेन नदी जो जा रही है जैसे गंगा है और उसके काफ़ी सारे ट्रिब्यूटरीज निकल गई जस्ट लाइक दैट या मेन एक ट्री की ब्रांच है उसमें से अलग अलग ब्रांचेस निकल गई तो दे आर सप्लीमेंटल टू द मेन ब्रांच जस्ट लाइक दैट द सप्लीमेंटल ग्रुप आर द सप्लीमेंटल टू द डेवलपमेंटल ग्रुप वो ज़्यादा डिस्टिंग नहीं होती इतनी ज़्यादा गहरी नहीं होती पर दे आर विजिबल एज यू कैन सी इन द इमेज इन द ऑक्लूजल व्यू ऑफ फर्स्ट वन you can see the main the main developmental groove right here and this one and they just extend extend here and there these are the supplemental grooves which supplement to the middle one as per the buccal view it extends just like this this is the mesial one mesial buccal groove and this is the distal buccal groove As for the mandible or the second molar, it's the main, it's the main, and this is these are the supplementals. And for uh, buccal view of the mandible or second molar, it's the buccal one. Let's again take an example. In the model we have, it's not a favorite one, but not the least. We have a mandible or first molar. As you can see here. there is main developmental groove these are the supplement to the developmental groove all of these these are all supplements and as you can see they extend themselves from the occlusal to the sides as you can see this one is the lingual one okay this one is the mesial one okay this one is mesial buccal this one is buccal now as for the second molar mandibular second molar you can see just right here the lingual one it's not very prominent the buccal one is more prominent here as you can see it extends from the center and just go around to the buccal side just like this now we have some pits pits are the pain point depressions small pain point depressions located at the junction of the grooves developmental or their terminals मे बी देर आर टर्मिनल्स और दे स्टार्ट फ्राम देयर या तो वहाँ से उगती हैं या वो वहाँ पर ख़त्म होती है पर दीज आर द जंक्शंस ऑफ द डेवलपमेंटल ग्रो अगर वो सेंटर में है तो वो एक सेंट्रल पिट कहलाती है जो सेंट्रल फूसा के एकदम मिडल में होती है जहाँ डेवलपमेंटल ग्रुप्स या तो आके ज्वाइन करती हैं या वहाँ टर्मिनेट करती हैं या वहाँ से उगती हैं एज यू कैन सी इन द इमेज और वी कैन टेक अ मॉडल as you can see in our favorite maxillary first molar the middle one that that one is the 
central pit around that central fossa the regular one there is a central pit in that area that one the pin point depression that's called the central fossa and central pit thank you so much uh, we will be ending this video i hope you found this video useful if you want the ppt follow the link below we have provided it in the comment section please like and share the video and subscribe our channel for more and if if you have any queries or suggestions about the video please comment down below we will try to solve it asap thank you so much